be the first out. We're already taking orders on, I think 12 or 13 or 14 already sold. But the LS9 is really, really a neat motor. A lot of neat things about it. The intercooler, the heavy duty belt, the bearings that uses a truck style throttle body notice. It also, basically the same motor it's a, as an LS3, except it has a forged steel crank where the LS7s and all the earlier ones had cast cranks. It uses a 10 and a half quart oil capacity where the LS7s uh, use a eight quart oil capacity. But basically it's the same motor. It's got different valve covers. It's got three map sensors. Notice it's like an LS3 and 7, the deck is taller here, and if you look at our earlier motor, it'll be a lot shorter by about three eighths of an inch. And that uh, it's uh, all a, all of its own. Notice here's where we got our oil pressure. We make the adapter to let you get to. So it's got quite a bit of room in the back of the motor. And basically, it comes without no accessories. We're still waiting on the alternator and the compressor for GM. We ought to have it this next week. But this is the power steering pump here, and this has a spline shaft that the pump has splines on it and bolts into it to take the force of the belts using a 10 rib belt on the blower and the power steering and the air and the alternator runs a six where it's got a very heavy tensioner here. Uh, notice the water pumps totally changed. On your 09 motors you'll see the throttle body has changed even on the LS3s and 7s and the top water pump notice comes out on the driver's side again where all the earlier motors have been out with it on the passenger side for years. So there's a lot of changes in 09. Let me slip the cover off here. Maybe we can show you some stuff on it. The cover just snaps on with some pins as usual. This guy's still using a one inline fuel line. It has the Schrader valve for checking fuel pressure. And then this is the intercooler here. The intercooler has uh, water going in, water coming out through a radiator and a pump. Notice it has a map sensor here, a map sensor here, and then it's even got a map sensor down on the intake manifold for boost. And as the fuel comes in, it tees here and feeds this rail and the other rail also. So a lot of neat things about it. Notice the water pump is totally different. Another thing you'll find in 09, the water pumps have uh, changed and even the thermostats. The thermostats were the same from 97 to 03 and then 04 and later changed again. So this is really going to be a neat motor. Uh, for the performance industry, it makes 638 horsepower and it uh, torque is 562, or excuse me, 604. So it's really going to be some torque and why do a big block anymore? One of the other neat things, notice the oil cooler is built right on. GM has a, developed a special heavy duty oil filter that can take the pressure, the oil pressure that's in this motor. The difference between the Cadillac motor is a 556 horsepower motor, plus it don't have but one intercooler. It also has a smaller oil cooler and it has a cast crank where the LS9 has forged pistons also where the earlier ones didn't. Here we laid you out, let you see underneath the inside of the intercooler how it works and it circulates water through and out and this will help cool the air so we can get away with the compression because the LS9 has nine and a half compression. And these are the adapter fittings that we make for the LS7 for the um, hooking up your oil lines to the trans tanks. Now here's an LS7 motor you can notice and it's got one of our custom pans on it that lets us put the LS7 into uh, like Chevelle's, Camaro's without changing the front cross member. That, that motor there is going in a 57 Chevy that we're doing the install which we get on the web and notice how the pan is shaped which gives us access to clear the cross members and drag link. That's another thing about the LS9 it has a nine bolt uh, flywheel that bolts the crank where the earlier ones have six. Uh, here's one of the flywheels laying here off the LS9 we've got a company making us a flex plate now so we can do the automatics behind it. This is one of the things we wanted to brought these automatics in. These are the six speeds. We wanted to show you the size of them compared to a 4L80E. This is a 4L80E over here on a pallet single by itself. And we used to think them were big trannies, but these new six speeds. This is a 6L80 out of a, a GTO, which then we had to change and put a Cadillac Escalade 
output shaft and tail housing because the GTOs don't have enough spline for the yoke. So it's real easy to do. We can do it or any transmission shop can change it. But notice this one over here, that's the 6L90 that's like used in the uh, three quarter ton, one ton, and the new Cadillacs. Uh, notice this spline won't even begin to fit the transmission. Transmissions are basically the same except everything through it's a lot heavier duty. You're going to see the GTO pans are a lot shallower than the truck pans. So for ground clearance and stuff like that, you notice we already have adapter fitting made to go onto the transmission for our oil cooler lines. So they'll go to an AN uh, line, which you see the adapter plate. That's the first prototype where we can test it. We're installing this tranny in a little pickup with an LS3 right now. We've had several of the six-speed automatics going. We even had some at SEMA. So uh, they're, they're really working out good. We got our programming good, down good. And we can run all the 58 tooth reluctor rings with any of the new automatic trannies. So for you guys that are really interested in LS9, there's going to be a lot of hot stuff going on. Notice here's the air temp sensor too, and it uses the same air temp sensor that we've used in the past. Also on the web, we've got this sheet with all the dimensions for you guys. We've got a couple of them putting them in early Corvettes and stuff, and they're worried about their hood clearance. So this, all this information will be a lot of help to you. And so stay tuned, check the web out, and we're going to do this motor here is going in a 69 Camaro, and it'll be in Hot Rod Magazine real soon, showing step by step how to put in real tricky is the fuel system because the fuel pumps on these new Corvettes they run faster as the RPM goes so we're working on a totally new fuel system for it all so there's really going to be some neat things happen but basically the LS9 7's all bolt right in just like the LS3's too and these motors have been around a long time uh, as far as everybody thinks they're fairly new but you gotta stop and think they've been out since 97 that's quite a few years the technology's really grown but this motor here is basically replacing all of your small block, big blocks, because here's an engine that can make this kind of horsepower and get you 22 plus miles a gallon. Stay tuned. Check our website out, www.hotrodlane.cc.